but it's this lugging of loads up and down hills that really toughens people up. Yes. And one of the reasons why they do take to, or su they make such ideal soldiers. I'm feeling quite toughened up myself by the time we reach Lakani, where Adrian addresses the hopefuls. All the recruits are given numbers. Of the 251 applicants here today, only a fraction will go on to the next stage of testing. We recruit once a year, and it's broken down into three phases. And this is, this is the first phase. And this is the opportunity for any young man who wants to try and join the British Army to yes. get in. Yes. Now, clearly, there are an awful lot more young men who want to join than we, than we have places for. And last year, for example, across the whole of Nepal, somewhere in the region of 24,000 were chasing 331 places. Really? Um, so it is very important. But clearly, the, the numbers that we'll get through today, I mean, I think the Gullah, the Gullah has an allocation of 100. And tell me who the, the Gullah is exactly. Explain the role the, of the, the Gullah. The, the Gullah is our, is our recruiter. Right. He is a retired Gurkha soldier. Yeah. In this case, a retired sergeant major. He's resident in the area that, uh, that he works in. And he is charged with bringing in the, the raw material into the recruiting process. Oh, so he's pretty vital. Without he's, him, nothing really he's, happens. He's fundamental. As members of the British Army, recruits will get paid about ten times more than they would in the Nepalese Army, which makes a Gurkha a very attractive proposition. Go! As dawn breaks next morning, the village looks the same, seems to be enjoying itself in the same way, but feels very different. Despite the sunshine, there's a chill in the air. Late yesterday afternoon, the Gala, who was the recruiting officer, came to our tent and he told us that he'd been approached by the local Maoists, who wanted to talk to him, one of us, and also the uh, Gurkhas who we were with. A meeting was held, at the end of which the Maoists decided they wanted to take the Gala, uh, Adrian, the two other senior Gurkhas, off into the forest to meet the hierarchy. Well, there was nothing we could do. We waited here. They were taken off uh, yesterday evening into the forest, and this morning they haven't returned. As far as we know, there's no real danger. They just wanted to talk to them, but they're not back yet. So it looks as though the rest of the recruiting is now off and all the work that was done yesterday by the young men will be a uh, waste and it looks also as though we probably will have to just get out of here as quickly as possible. <laughs> 